Subaru Park today sees the debut of a new development in Seven's coverage of motorsport. We've seen cameras in cars, we've seen cameras in headlights. Today, we're attaching a camera to an open wheeler, a Formula Ford car that's going to give you a spectacular new view of the racetrack action. Richard Carter is the driver of the car. Richard, this is a new experience for you too. It is, Gary. Um, the camera weighs uh, a considerable amount of, uh, in kilograms. Uh, but in practice yesterday, it didn't really seem to slow us down very much at all. You've been in motor racing a long time. I think you won the Formula Ford Driver to Europe Series a long time back. Uh, why have you stuck at it so long? Obviously, you enjoy it. Well, I retired for a while. I thought I'd, uh, I'd achieved the level of, a, of success that I was looking for. Uh, but unfortunately, life became a little bit boring after a while, so I decided to get back into it. Well, you've seen the test pictures that we've already got out of this camera. Do you think they're boring? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the viewers at home uh, can enjoy some of the uh, spectacular aspect of motor racing that uh, we as drivers enjoy from the cockpit. Well, it is great technology that uh, Dave Thomas and his crew here have put together on this car. And of course, as I said, we've seen the pictures out of Dick Johnson's Mustang and the other cars that we've utilised with uh, Seven Cam over the years, both here at Amaru at the other racetracks and at Bathurst. This will be sensational. In fact, uh, we've given you a taste of the pictures, but Richard Carter is about to go out and take to the racetrack, and we're going to see this camera perform under actual race conditions. I assure you, it will be breathtaking. We'll be back at Amaru Park in a moment. And back at Amaru Park, and Thomas Mazira in that ever-familiar spot, pole position for round four of the Motocraft Formula Ford Driver to Europe series, which incorporates round three of the local Coke series. And alongside him there is Geoffrey Walters. In fact, let's take a look at the entire grid as they line up now for this 15-lapper. On the front row of the grid, Thomas Mazira, a time of 53.29, underneath his existing lap record. Alongside him, Geoffrey Walters in car number two. The second row, Richard Carter carrying race cam behind him, or alongside him, should I say, 43, Dave Stanley. On the third row of the grid from Victoria, Roger Martin in the PRS and Bradley Forjard in the Von Diemen. The fourth row consists of car number 27, Alan Bissett and 88, Andrew Burden in the Lola. The fifth row, Tim Murray, car number 22 in the Elwyn and Gary Jones, car 77 in the Bowen. And the sixth row, the top 12 consisting of 23, Scott Elson and 20, Barry Ward and another uh, dozen or so competitors rounding out the top 25. So there's Carter carrying race cam and the first time that we've had live open wheeler pictures looking from the driver's viewpoint. And that's going to be fascinating viewing. The, the driver's now less than 10 seconds away from the start. 15 laps the journey. There's the view from Richard Carney's car. Racing now and getting away smartly off the inside in car number four is Jeff Walters and we take the ride with Richard Carter, race cam, a world first from an open wheeler brought to you by Seven. Dropping into third with uh, Thomas Mazira now taking over the lead. In second spot is Jeff Walters as they drop down into Dunlop Loop and then Richard Carter in the Vision Graphics Maytech back there in third as they exit the loop and now run down the back straightaway. Once again towards uh, Mazda Corner. That's how close the front-running three are as they go into Mazda. Now the run downhill and the left-hander coming up at Honda. Mazira goes through in five. Four, of course, is Walters. Carter is the next one through. And then back behind them is uh, Dave Stanley, who's dropped into fourth place. Down to the right-hander at the lake. Magnificent pitches. Coming from the front of Richard Carter's Maytech, the Vision Graphics Machine. So they come up to Wonderlick Corner for the completion of first lap. That's one down, 14 to go. So Mazira, the man who leads the Formula Ford Driver to Europe series. In fact, there's really only been two rounds completed with the third round being cancelled or in fact uh, disqualified the results from that third round at Service Paradise as a recall in our seven sport coverage. So Mazira, the leader, Walters in second with 30, Andrew Burden in third with 20. And uh, Mazira is also the leader of the Coke series and again Walters in second place. So it really is a battle between these two and Mazira, the great open wheeler talent in Australia in the last 12 months. 15 laps is a lot of laps to have to survive around Amaru Park, particularly in a field of 25 Formula Fords, which we've got here this afternoon, but Mazira is doing it at the right end of things. He's out in front, well in front, and it's the best place to be. Some talk that uh, Mazira may go touring car racing later in the year. He's certainly been the find of the open wheelers so far. Walters doing a good job, and of course Carter as we take the race cam again. Going up Pitcher Payfield, section of the huge crowd here off to the left, at the top of Nissan Skyline. Harden them out. 
kick to the left and then they've got to work their way back to the right and a reverse camber corner so let's do one complete lap you can hear the wind just uh, coming over the top of the front wing as Richard Carter goes out after Thomas Mazzera and Jeff Walters Well, the American networks might be having problems uh, putting pictures together, but we've been able to do it, and it's been good to see the world first here at Amaru today. There's Thomas Mazira going through in car number five, stretching that lead, of course, over Jeff Walters in the L1 car number four. Carter still back there in third place and holding that down very, very comfortably indeed. I wish I had a horse or two that could carry overweight the way Richard Carter is. <laughs> Richard Carter, of course, 36 years of age moment on screen running in second place is Jeff Walters and the Logan Holmes Elwyn. Only 0.3 of a second difference in qualifying between Walters and Mazira yesterday. There's Walters going through and here's Carter carrying our race cam. 36 years of age, comes from Bayview in Sydney. Commenced to racing when at Warwick Farm back in 1968 in sports cars and into Formula Fords. He won the Driver to Europe Series for Grace Brothers team in 1976 and he retired until uh, last year. Maytech, of course, built as a backyard special in 1974. It's a good basic design. It lacks the latest state-of-the-art sophistication. And he's got a very, very good team and ably supported by Vision Graphics, the specialist colour photographic laboratory in Sydney. He's doing a good job out there. Well, if, his car, if his car lacks something, there's a lot of cars behind him that lack an awful lot. Yes, for a fellow that's uh, been away from racing for a while, and he is carrying some sort of a weight penalty, I guess, but uh, Dave Thomas and uh, the engineering um, group from uh, Channel 7 in Sydney have spent a lot of time getting the balance right in the car to be able to carry a camera, have it properly weighted, so that it uh, wasn't a disadvantage to him to carry, and it's certainly not, because Mazira has been winning everything all season, and uh, Jeff Walters has been running second all season, so he's doing a great job. Neil, this camera certainly gives uh, a beautiful uh, picture of the handling capabilities of these cars, doesn't it? It really does, and I'm just sitting here at the moment, Gary sort of rocking left to right and feeling as though I'm a part of the action, but it certainly puts you right in the driver's seat, and you can see just how well a purpose-built racing car hugs to the road around the Amaru Park course. In fact, the race cam adds around about 8 or 9 kilograms to the total weight of the Maytech, and it weighs in just over 485 kilogram kilograms with driver. But, uh, gee, Richard Carter pushing it to the absolute limit at the moment, getting up on the ripple strips. And I think, if anything, he's starting to perhaps close the gap a little bit on Jeffrey Walters in second place, the man who has two second placings already in the Coke series and two second placings in the Formula Ford Driver Europe series. So Thomas Mazira climbing his way up towards the top of the hill in his customary position. A man who has just recently received contact from the Reynard factory in England and they would like him to go over there and test Formula Ford and perhaps even have a drive in their new Formula 3 car. Well, the way things are going, he might get a free trip. Mm. That'd be sensational, which, uh, if anything, might be the uh, to the detriment of Australian motorsport because, as Mike said before, there was talk of him getting involved in a touring car drive as well. But, uh, this fellow's got great open-wheel talent driver to Europe series again providing the right kind of stepping stone into either Formula Ford in England or perhaps Formula 3 and beyond. Six laps of uh, 15 completed in the Coca-Cola uh, bottless Formula Ford series also uh, coinciding with a round of the uh, driver to Europe series. Coming back across the line again there's our leader going through Old Walters running in second spot and then of course uh, Richard Carter in third and uh, Carter holds probably about 150 to 175 metre lead over the fourth place driver. It's a difficult race for both uh, Jeff Walters and for Richard Carter because uh, they're about uh, 40 to 50 metres uh, astern. Oh, there's oh. one that hasn't made it. <laughs> that's not the stern either, that's the nose that's been demolished. Can't pick the number up uh, on that car at the moment, but the driver's stepping out and uh, he's quite okay. It looks like an L1, uh, the car, so I think it must be uh, Don Gregg. Could be. Car 46. 
probably pick up uh, the car as Richard Carter comes down to the corner where the incident occurred. Out there against the wall, flags are out and they're passing at that part of the racetrack. But through uh, the Melco Wonderlick turn, and once again back up the straight, there's Richard Carter still holding down third. The leader, of course, though, is the driver of car number five, and that's Thomas Mazira. It makes this all look very, very easy. Every race we watch him. Thomas Mazira, in fact, the last lap through, posted an unofficial 54.28, which is some two tenths slower than his lap record of 53.95. So he's right on the pace and not fooling around at all. Jeffrey Waddles, you notice the back of his car when we see it next, has got a rather unusual looking aerodynamic aid. In fact, what looks to be a wing in the eyes of some of the other Formula Ford competitors out there today. And there's been a bit of consternation about that. The radar being driven by Mazira, again being the dominant car. Here is the man I was talking about, car number four, Jeffrey Walters. Look at the back of the car, yeah. a little different to the usual Elwin shape. And uh, he prefers to call it a shade for the gearbox. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, keep the sun off. Yeah. Right. He's actually getting a little closer to Mazira as the laps uh, unwind here. They've both drawn away from Richard Carter, so it's really a race in two. Or at least it's up to uh, Walters to try and make it a race in two, and he's endeavouring to do so, bridging the gap ever so slowly on Thomas Mazira. But you get the feeling, don't you, that Mazira's still got plenty up his sleeve. Two and a half seconds separating Mazira from this man here, Jeffrey Walters, mag wheel manufacturer from Wollongong in New South Wales, and outfits himself with a very professional team, the Elwyn, built of course in New South Wales by Elwyn Bickley. So it's English engineering versus Australian engineering at the moment. And at present the Poms are one up. That gap still uh, widening between Thomas Mazira and Walters going through at the moment. A similar gap then back, uh, of course, to Richard Carter in third place. Formula Ford racing has been surviving in Australia and overseas for a very long time. Very popular formula, which has allowed many drivers, well-known drivers in Australia, to make their step across to Europe. The cars are fairly uh, well controlled in terms of regulation. 1600cc cross-flow pushrod Ford engines. Type of engine that you get out of the old Capri XLs or the Escort gears fairly stringent requirements for chassis and uh, most of them develop the good ones that is around about 110 odd brake horsepower. That's Here's the leader. Five laps remaining. Yes indeed and it is car five with five laps remaining Thomas Mazira. Mazira heads up Bitchapave Hill again still 175 metres clear of uh, Jeff Walters in the Owen and Richard Carter in third. Makes it all look ever so easy. There's Mazira, very tight, tidy lines. And he is well clear and I think still increasing that lead over Walters. Thomas's team manager was saying this morning to me that uh, provided the point score continues to fall the way that it has for Tom, they may not even do the entire eight rounds of this series. They might bail at round five or round six, enabling Thomas to get away for this potential trip to Europe or perhaps the touring car drive. Following this, there's Oran Park, Calder, Winton, and then the final of this series again at Oran Park on the 22nd of September. So there's a lot of racing to come. There's the race leader running away with this. And that, of course, Thomas Mazira, Walters in second, and Richard Carter carrying race cam, heading up Bitchapave Hill again. Just to give you another lap or so around the course with... Uh, Richard as he goes over the top of uh, Bitcher Pave Hill. Clear and view in front of him at the moment. Walters has managed to run away a little from him. The car is still using the same lines. He's up on the ripple strip over there a few laps ago. A little tidier down through that part of the course. And out of the right hand kink at the uh, Mazda corner. The downhill run coming up to the left hander at Honda. You'll just see Walters in fact uh, off in the distance as he comes around this corner down towards the lake. He slips by a car there that's parked on the side of the road. Around the lake corner. And on to the main straight with three laps remaining now. And there's Walters just disappearing up the top of the hill. So the gap is about uh, 230 metres between second and third. That's a great drive around Amaru Park. 
only centimetres off the racetrack. Don't know whether at home you can get the uh, the full drift of Amaru Park with its off-camber corners and its short straights and kinks back to the left and right. But it certainly uh, keeps the driver busy, and I'm sure you'd agree, Neil Crompton. Certainly, and the terrifying thing, I think, for the armchair experts at the moment, Mike, is we're working on one for a Formula One car as well, so the ride will get even quicker. Well, there are no kinks for Thomas Mazira in uh, today's Formula Ford round here at uh, Amaru Park. He's got it all straightened out, coming down with two laps remaining. One lap remaining? Yes, last lap board is out, in fact, for Thomas Mazira. And uh, he's doing it very comfortably indeed. This could almost be a slowdown lap for him, and he'd still take the chequered flag with ease. Through Dunlop Blue. For the final time, Thomas Mazira, car number five, the Dale Car Industries entry. He leads in the Reynard to Mazda Corner. And down to uh, Honda, coming up on some of the slower cars at the moment. Walters uh, has made a little up in the way of the gap. Was back a couple of... Uh, Laps back uh, almost to 200 metres, but it's not going to make any difference at all. They come down to the late corner for the final time, the short straightaway. It brings them along to uh, Kamalko turn. Checkered flag being prepared. And the checkered flag goes out. Two hands off the wheel. He keeps it straight, and that's Thomas Mazira. He'll go across the line to win this one comfortably. There's the second place driver coming in. And that, of course, is Jeff Walters. And finishing in third place, just coming out of the corner, is going to be Richard Carter. Confirmation of placings, Mazera the winner in the Reynard. Second spot going to Walters in the Elwyn. And third place, good on you, Richard Carter in the Maytag. David Ansell from Coca-Cola making the presentation to Thomas Mazira after uh, today's round of the Coca-Cola Formula Ford Series here at Amaru Park and of course also a round of the Formula Ford Driver to Europe Series. Thomas, congratulations. You continue to lead... Uh, both series, superb driving again today, and I guess the easy place, if anything is easy about it, uh, to do it, is out in front. Ah, oh, yeah, the hardest part is to make the break earlier in a race, and the rest is just, you know, stay there, not to make a mistake, and, you know, keep doing good times. Conditions today, uh, with the rain holding off as it is, must be perfect, because it's nice and cool, the track is now dry, and in fact you were going around very close to record times. Yeah, I hope so. I hope I beat the record again. <laughs> Thomas, you, as I said, the leader in both series, but I understand you may not finish the series because the car's been sold. Uh, the car goes to New Zealand at the middle of August, and uh, we finished uh, last race for us be at Calder, 11 of August. Well, what's in store for you? Are we going to continue to see you at the racetrack or what? Uh, I hope I just can hire some other car and, you know, finish the series, though. Well, we hope so. Congratulations on a fine win here today. Thank you. Thomas Mazira, leader in the Coca-Cola Bottlers Formula Ford Series at Amaru and also, as I said, still the leader in the Formula Ford Driver to Europe Series.